Hey, what's happening, everybody? Mac the Duel is coming at you again from the TCG Enterprise, where we talk about all your favorite card games. The guys, we finally have done it, and we finally put together the Danger Dark World deck, you guys. Uh, compiled from the stuff that I had previous, as well from the new stuff from the structure decks, all three combined. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, for the ratios, it's pretty decent enough. Uh, but we can always agree and disagree as much as we want to. There's certain things that I don't have in here, and that's okay. And some of them are actually personal preferences from my own. But in any case, we're going to go ahead and get on with this list, you guys, and let's hope for the best. By the way, you guys, uh, thank you for helping us reach past the uh, 100 subscriber count. You guys are awesome. Please show your support again. Go ahead and like and subscribe and comment down below and hit the post notification bell. So going on with the list, you guys, we are going to be going with two of Rainbow, the Overking of the Dark World. This thing is really, really awesome. Uh, you can special summon this card from the graveyard by, by returning a level 7 or lower Dark World monster you control to the hand. And if this card is discarded the graveyard by an effect, with a card effect, you can add a level 5 or higher Dark World monster from your deck to your hand, except for Rainbow, the Overking. And then when this card is discarded if it, by a opponent's card effect, you can special summon a level 4 or lower Dark World monster from your deck or graveyard to either field, which is really, really, really good. This allows you to go ahead and get out for your uh, Simroll, which is really, really good too. Uh, next, we're going to be going with two Graffa. Some are running three Graffa. I don't particularly agree with the three Graffa. Then again, some are running one. I figured two is the best way to go. Uh, you can bounce back one to go ahead and special summon out this, which is really, really, really good. And also pop a uh, monster that uh, your card, or I'm sorry, target one card your opponent controls, and you can destroy that target, which is uh, really, really good to do that. Um, and then we're going to be going with three snow. Let me move this over a minute. We're going to be going with three snow, you guys. Uh, snow is awesome. This is your searcher for your deck. Uh, it's basically your uh, Rota. Um, and then this one, when it gets discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, if it was discarded to your hand, to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard and then add one Dark World monster from your deck to your hand, then special summon that target, if any, in face-up defense position. It's perfect for a searcher. You need to have three. Anything less than that is not worth uh, running. Then we're going to be going with... Three, Brow. Brow is your uh, Huntsman of the Dark World. Allows you to go ahead and get your draw power going. And if it was discarded by an opponent's card effect, allows you to go ahead and utilize its second ability, which is to draw another card. So you get to draw two for the price of one, which is really nice. Next, we're going to be going with three, Genta. This is the newest one, the Gate Man of the Dark World. You can only special summon Genta once per turn. Discard this card and add one Gates of the Dark World from your deck to your hand. If it is banished, while you control a Dark World monster, you can special summon this card, which is really, really good. This searches out the field spell. We've been needing something like this for the longest time, and we finally got it, and I'm excited. Then we're going to be going with one Parl, a Hermit of the Dark World. I'm only running the one. Some are running two. Either or, it's based off preference. Uh, but this is discarded by a card effect, target one Dark World monster in your graveyard, except for Paro, special summon it to either field. Then if this card is discarded to your hand, uh, to your graveyard by a opponent's card effect, you can special summon to either your graveyard or, uh, by a opponent's card effect, you can special summon either from your field one fiend monster that is banished or in your hand or your graveyard. You can only use it once per turn. But nonetheless, it's still a very great effect. Then we are going to be going with two surreal. It's always good to have these things to stack them up, especially since they go into a loop. This one will go ahead and special summon to your opponent's side of the field. And at the same time, we are also going with two Silva. Yeah, Silva. I'm bringing back Silva. Silva is awesome. Uh, this will allow you to go ahead and take two cards from either uh, from their hand and then place them onto the bottom of the deck in any order, which always helps. Uh, for that benefactor, especially so you loop these things out, which always helps out a hell of an immensely um, amount. Now, uh, on towards the danger side, because that's it for the Dark World, you guys. We're not running any of the other ones. Uh, we're not running gold. We're not running um, 
uh, Lucent or anything like those. Uh, we're just going to be running uh, what we have currently. As far as our dark, uh, dangers on the side, we're going to be going with to Bigfoot. It's Bigfoot. Uh, it's a great level eight. Uh, you could reveal it out if it wasn't that. Then you could go to special summon it, which is really, really, really good. Um, you could draw one card with it, which is really good as well. Then we're going to be running two Thunderbird. I'm running two Thunderbird. Uh, you always got to have at least the, the two together where you have uh, one and one or you go two and two, either or. Um, it's a it's a great extender and a great level eight. At the same time, you guys, uh, for Thunderbird, allow you to go ahead and take one of the set cards your opponent controls and destroy it, which is always nice. And then we're going to be going with two Nessie. I'm going with only two Nessie. Some people run three Nessie. I don't really see if it as being as ideal because it can break. Uh, but it will definitely help out in a lot of tight spots uh, based off its stats, which is always nice. Um, it also gives you at least a, the upper hand to go ahead and combo off, which is always good. Then we're going to be going with one Suchinoko. Someone ended up saying to me to take it out. And I don't understand why, especially considering the fact that it gets special summon and it helps. Um, if I had the option to go ahead and run more, I would totally run more. If it got semi-limited, I would totally run the two. Well, unfortunately, we don't have that luxury of that um, of that option in that case. Uh, then we're going to be one, running one Jackalope. Uh, same thing, if it got semi-limited, I would enjoy that very, very much. But unfortunately, we don't get to have the entire luxury of of having that option but that's okay and then we're going to be running one mothman it's mothman uh three is a little bit too cloggy for my uh flavoring taste uh but it allows you to go ahead and special summon uh one is decent enough uh i figured that'd be the best way to go ahead and run around with doing that and that's it for the dangers it's a very small amount uh you don't want to run too many dangers because then you'll start breaking and you won't have options for your dark world cards Speaking of Dark World Guards, you guys, we're going to be going with three of the gates. It has to be three, no less. Uh, you run your three, so then that way you can go ahead and discard, or you can banish. Uh, you go ahead and set up combo plays. It's always fun to do those. Um, the, the, the Dark World now do a whole hell of a lot of combos based off from discard, a special summon out, to go ahead and go into your rank eights, uh, which you'll see in a little bit here. Um... And then we're going to be going with three Allure of Darkness. I'm running three Allure of Darkness. Why? It is a great card. It gives you great draw power. And since a lot of stuff banishes and comes back anyways, it makes them more ideal to go ahead and utilize the banishment effect to go ahead and special summon back. Then we're going to be running two of the Dark World Ex uh, Ascension. Or Ascension. Um, this is a great card to go ahead and bring out for the fusion. Um, you can discard any number of monsters as the material. Uh, or also discard mo uh, monsters as the material with the fusion summon it from the extra deck. Which, mind you, you'll see in a minute on the fusion monster, um, its requirements. So, we're going to be running one puppetry at one archives. Uh, puppetry is really good uh, to target up to three in the, any graveyard and banish them. Then discard one fiend monster during the main phase, except for the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You banish this card from your graveyard, and then target one of your banished fiend monsters and add it to your hand, which is always nice. And then we have for uh, archives, during your main phase, you can discard one dark world monster. And if you do, dark world monsters you can control will gain attack equal to the level of the discarded monster that it had uh, in the hand times 100. Till the end of the turn, which is always nice. And then at the same time, uh, the Fiend is discarded from your hand. With the effects of the Dark World card or an opponent controls uh, with the card effect. Except during the damage step, you can discard one card, then draw two cards. It allows you to get a little bit of extra draw power, uh, just because. Then we're going to be going with one card destruction. Uh, discard your entire hand. You don't really want to play into Terrellments into this card, but if you're able to get it off... Right off the bat, it always helps in a tight spot. Um, finally, we're going to be going with two trade-in. It's always good. Discard off for your level eights to go ahead and draw two cards. Because why not? That's it for the spells. Now on for the traps. We're only going to be running one trap and one trap alone. 
And we're going to be going with our Dark World Punishment. This is the counter trap. Uh, when a monster would be normal summon or special summon, negate the summon. And if you do destroy the monsters, then discard one fiend. If a Dark World monster you control would be destroyed by battle or a card effect, you could banish this card from your graveyard instead. You can only use one of the, pun uh, the punishments once per turn. But it's still a very good one, and I like the artwork on it. It looks really, really, really nice. Now, uh, towards our extra deck, you guys, we are going to be going with two of the Grapha. This allows you to go ahead and get your regular Grapha out. Um, and at the same time, uh, it allows you to go ahead and do a quick effect, which allows you, if a monster's effect or normal summon, or a normal spell or trap, while you have cards in your hand, you do a quick effect. You could activate the, uh, this effect. The activated becomes uh, your opponent discards one card which allows you to go ahead and utilize for that effect on your um, opponent. Then we're going to be going with our Exceed play. So we're going to be going with one Dragoblian. Uh, this is a great rank 8. It's perfect for the dragons. Definitely utilize for its effect. Um, your opponent can target it with a card effects, which is good. You can take two number dragons with different names from the extra deck of the graveyard, except for Dragoblian, is a special summon one of them. So it allows you to go ahead and fill, uh, set up a, an assault, which is really, really good. Uh, speaking of which, one of them is Harbinger. That's one of the dragons that's a number uh, dragon. It's really, really, really good. Then the other one is Numeron Dragon. It's always good to have that one as well. Um, you can utilize the effects on towards these uh, as well, uh, based off how they're... Uh, stacking themselves up. I might want to go ahead and put maybe more numbers in this deck. I'm not too entirely sure. Uh, but I'll definitely have to uh, look into that. Uh, one Heretic Sun Overlord for the nukes. It's always good to have that thing. Why not? One Coach King uh, Giant Trainer. So it's good to have that. One Lancelot Dark uh, Knight of the Underworld. So it's good to have that. One Semphon, the Sky Prison. It's really, really good to have this one as well. Um, especially when it utilizes its effect on the special summon from the graveyards, especially towards tournament that like to do that kind of stuff, or anything else for that matter that likes to special summon. It always goods to it gets good to put them in a tight spot where they don't get to do that. Then we have one Zombie Stein, one of his dweller. Graveyard hate on towards the Abyss Dweller, especially towards two elements. So why not? One Nightmare Phoenix. One Unicorn. Self-explanatory. One Saryudra, Skull Dread, self-explanatory there. And one Underworld, Goddess of the Closed World. So that's it for the deck, you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please be sure to go ahead and show your guys' support towards the channel. As I said before, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit the post notification bell, you guys. And give me your guys' thoughts of what you guys think about the uh, new Dark World deck and the new support that's contained within. If you guys have any changes, feel free to comment down below. Based off any kind of advice that you guys might have, maybe I want to go ahead and change this thing up a little bit. But thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next time. Happy gaming.